Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest V with me, Get Daved. In the last episode, our hero was turned to stone along with his wife. They were separated when our statue of our hero was auctioned off for 20,000. Sold as a good luck statue. Purchased by a wealthy man and been treated to watching their child grow up and then be abducted. Years and years of still solitary agony for our hero is a nice follow-up to his ten years of slavery. It's implied that the pre previous segment leading up to this spanned four years, so between when you escaped slavery to when you returned to stone is four years, so got married in that time, had children with Bianca. And this this stretch of time goes on for a while as well. Our hero has not had the happiest life. Sancho with two strangers shows up. Bonus DS. Hmm. All right, happily. <laughs> Istra, my goodness. Just as Pancras wandered the world with his child. Sancho took your children, traveled the world, and found an artifact that could reverse the Paralysis, the stone. Petrification, that's the word I'm looking for. Eight years, they looked. I do. Oh, Sancho, you've been a good friend to the family. So now the hero is about 20 years old and his children... Well, he's 28, but is physically the age of a 20-year-old. His children are now 8. Yep. And save the world and save your grandmother. There you go, everybody. The bloodline of Bianca strengthened again with the uh, the contribution of Pancras and Nada's genes, sufficient to produce ourselves a Quisatz Hadrach. <laughs> So, your son is the legendary hero. Istra is no joke either. Um, she's inherited all of the gifts of her father's bloodline. Except, maybe not the toughness of Pancras. Because, yeah, that went to the brother. Who looks a bit more like Pancras, actually, than he does like the father. And this time, a bit less drinking, folks. 
We'll keep the guards at their posts this time. And we have two parties. All the good little touches in this game, like an empty spot in the bed. Yep. Well, there you go. I'll take it. Well, I think he's the least to blame. It all comes back to Laja and whoever he works for. They talk about Grandmaster Nimzo a bit. Human party members, folks. Yep. Yep. That part is true. <laughs> yeah. For what your kids lack in age, just the fact that they both have the power of the legendary hero and, like, such an important bloodline. They're quite powerful. Um, so your son's the legendary hero. He's the second strongest character in the entire game, after the hero himself. Um, although there is a bit of a drop-off between them. You definitely notice it. But he has all the power the legendary hero had. So he can control lightning. No one else in the game can. He has... Like, all of the extremely powerful healing spells the legendary hero has. And then your daughter has not much right now, but they're only level 5. But, um, I mean, she can use Zoom, she can communicate with monsters the same way the hero can, and she's a really good support character. <laughs> Oomph, sap, she can do it all. Barrier, I think. Yay! Sorry I left, everybody. Well, yeah, you kind of... You and Sancho are actually kind of mum and dad to them. Oh good, a Chancellor. Oh, Uncle Albert! <laughs> Interesting. Well, now we know where we're going. It's nice that they uh, know about what's important. <laughs> yeah, they've spent a lot of time ruling the country without us. Hey, Sancho. There we go. We have access to the other side of the world now. Yep. You'll recall also there was a kid, er, like a boy before, and all he wanted to do was serve the king. Well, eight years have passed at least, probably more like ten actually, because our children were born in that span. <laughs> they no be told Sancho. Oh, okay, just more of that again. Yep, I'm bringing Sancho for a bit. We've had lots of time with the monsters. Sancho is kind of like Torneco or Yangus. Sort of like the... Okay, I was... for a second the eagle pattern looked like a horse to me. There will be no references to Khan in our house. 
House Gotha. All right, so party planning. Oh, I don't need to worry about that. I wonder if I lost all that money. No, it looks like I'm probably carrying all of it. Absolutely. Oh, we probably need to get rid of... yeah. Alright. Empty the wagon. Oh, I mean, so many of you have been so helpful. Yep. Although they've got equipment, so... I'm afraid we're gonna have to strip them down first. Debase the monsters! I think Idleby's the weak link. And I do kind of want to keep Kim, because he's a pretty good healer. Actually, ah, I feel bad about it. I kind of... Ah. Now he's got the ribbon. We'll keep him along for a little bit longer. I don't quite have it in me to drop off Saber. But that day's coming. Make no mistake. He does have decent maximum stats. And now, by the way, Gotha serves as a really useful, um... Like, hub. One other nice thing about Sancho... Oh boy. How did you rescue me, equipped with a pot-lid boxer shorts and a top hat? Oh well. Um... He can use the Maxi Metal as a shield. He was the one character I was thinking of. And it's pretty good. It's got a strength of 40. Use this when the time is right. I think I already did. We actually need to do some tidying up here. And sort everything out. We might have a little bit of bookkeeping to do. I do want to check one other thing. You? Oh, from celebrations. Oh yeah, you never wanted to be a princess. Oh. Well. <laughs> that was awkward. Might as well double check the equipment we can get. Oh no. I have Wheelbrook Blue Stones. I wonder if we can find them there. Okay, I don't actually have any memory of that lead, but maybe we'll check it out real quick. Also, Wheelbrook, for all we know, could be repaired. Uh, let's take a break real quick and talk about weapons for the hero. He can use the Zenithian Sword. Decision made. Uh, other things he can use include... Where is it? Shields. There we go. And if we go to Helm and Eptra, we can get him the uh, helm as well. So our son is uh, doing pretty good for a level 5 character. <laughs> some pretty good defense. Also, I mean, it's not like full plate armor is the best we can use. We'll leave him with that for now, though. Getting good equipment for your daughter is a little trickier. Can be done, though. She gets very similar equipment to the Wyvern, actually. So she'll have some immunities from that. 
giving her magic immunity is a pretty uh, high priority. Ole, let's go. That's right. Um, yeah, I'll probably do some of this off camera. We have a lot of figuring out to do. In the meantime, I'm looking for somebody named Tuppence. Yay! Hope I can repair the castle. It sounds like it's been weakened considerably. I'm glad they remember my time as a good one. I was here for a good time, not for a long time. You got it. So now we should be able to go to part Patty's party planning place. That's difficult, even by Dragon Quest standards. <laughs> Ugh. So I kind of like having lots of human people in the party, because you spend a lot of time... Oh, little tuppence. I forget if he's even good or not, but you know... We'll throw him in the wagon and see if he levels up, and hopefully it's all for the best. He's not using the best equipment, but we'll we'll figure that out. Need a magic key. So I think those are all the human party members you can have for now. Now the slight issue of equipment. Okay, we have better than silver mail kicking around. It might be worth upgrading to dragon mail because of the immunities. Istra is the one I'm most concerned with. I'm not gonna get the iron mask for Malcolm. We can get him the Zenithian helm soon enough. I think we have silver mail kicking around. Actually, I, I know for a fact we do. Can't use the Wedding Veil, can you use Silver Tiara? It's a step in the right direction. So Silver Tiara is roughly as good as an Iron Helm. It's still not great. Dang it! There's some good... Mm, I'm not putting that on my daughter. There we go. So we know the sun has higher defense value than the hero. But we should probably try helping out Tuppence or Sancho. It can be kind of difficult to find equipment for Sancho though. He uses an interesting mishmash. I had no idea the staff of anti-magic was weak. Kim had a really good attack stat. Leveling up will probably be her best friend, so we'll try finding somewhere safe to do it. Um, in a perfect world, you find somewhere outdoors. I could... <laughs> Alright. Because if we're outside of a cave, we can, you know, level up people who are in the wagon, which is always nice. There we go. I'm actually going to cancel out of this just in case. We might have a cuirass you can use. Preferably not a silver one. Or pardon me, not a steel one. I have to know. Restless armor is cursed, so we'll stay away from that. That is terribly weak. Can you use boomerangs? Only the boy. Probably use zombie mail or something. Wow, okay. Turtle shell it is. Or oh, pardon me, a tortoise shell. That's even bigger. And his defense is above 100, so that's a start. The top hat's not terrible either. So now we've got something to work with. Oh, eight strength. You'll get there. She makes up for it with her other stats. No one in the family has terribly high resilience, but that won't matter in the long run. 
All right. We're ready to go rescue some parents. I'll see you all in the next episode, and I might do a little bit of grinding off camera. We'll see. Thanks for watching, everybody.